Example two, uh, which is calculating the surface area of a cone. And you'll notice they've given us a formula, and I want to talk about that a little bit. There's two parts on the formula. There is pi RL, which finds you the area of the cone piece, the top cone here. And then we've got pi R squared, which they add on. I actually wanted to do that in red. I swear I pressed the red and Anyway, pi R squared, which is the area of the circle. So I'll just color that in red. This finds the area of the base of this cone here. So it's important to understand the formula because you might get a cone that doesn't have a base. So if you get a cone without a base, you need to take off the pi r squared part and just use the surface area formula pi rl. Anyway, example two has a base. So example two uses the whole formula written above, pi rl plus pi r squared. Now, you might notice that they have given us R, which is 5, but they haven't given us L. They've given us our height, but we need L, the length of the, the diagonal side here. All right. So I'm going to draw it in red. I'm going to label it L. That's what we're trying to find here. What you can do is if you construct a right angle triangle, with a base of 5 and a height of 12, we can use that to find L using Pythagoras theorem. So Pythagoras theorem being C squared equals A squared plus B squared. C being L the length and A and B being the 12 and the 5. What's 12 squared plus 5 squared? And we get 169. 169. So L squared equals, so L will be the square root of 169, which comes out really nicely, it comes out to 13. There we go. Alright, so now we know what L is, L is 13. We can put in our formula, so pi times R, 5, times L, 13, plus pi times R, 5, squared. And all we're going to do, we're just going to plug it into our calculator, let the calculator work it out. Pi times 5 times 13 plus pi times 5 squared. And they want it to two decimal places, so let's do that. We have 282.74 centimeters squared. 